Hello, I'm Phil Wade, Managing Director of Datgel. In this exercise, we're going to import a um, core file, this one actually, a Contech core file. I've uh, just created a new uh, correspondence file that will allow for the units that are in the core file. So you've got to refer to this area here to understand what units there are. So this is um, depth, QC, FS, and pore pressure, U2. Uh, but the U2, note that it's in um, feet, which means it's head. So I've adjusted the cor new correspondence file to deal with that. Let's go back to input. So you note how I have the, let me point out, I have these. This is the, the trial download, or the full package download. I've opened up this library and project right now. What I will do is make a new correspondence file. I mean a new project based on that data template. So uh, clone data template, browse to this folder. Grab that, then we'll make a new project and I'll save it. It's another temp here. This is, I need to change this. This is the wrong one. So this is the new file I've just made. Now we can select many files. Click uh, execute. Okay, so this is the source data. We have 361 records in the main data block in one header. So that data came in, this is all okay, this is pretty normal stuff, nothing to worry about. Okay, so we can see the, the title which came in, here's the data file. You can see this is the process date, the CPT data. Have a look at the information here. Okay, now well, at this point it's, I should know what the groundwater depth might be. I, this is not something in this data I'm not familiar with, so I might just make a guess and say it's, uh, that's very simplistic, but we'll just say it's at 11 feet or something. So I'll just put that in here, but hopefully you know what it is. Um, now when I click save, it will calculate. So I'll just let it do that. It's not that many records, so it won't take long. Ah, I forgot that we need to enter the cone area ratio. So, um, frankly, I don't know what the cone area ratio is for this cone. Um, I might just open up uh, the example project and we'll just have a look and see what the cone error ratio is for the standard example cone tech cone which is what well, I didn't pick the right thing there let's assume that is a core file it's looking like it's got the same sort of cone ID 
So three, three, four. All right, so. thinks it's uh, point 0.8, so why don't we just assume that for this exercise. You should ask the uh, person doing the testing what the actual answer is. Um, you know, ideally we'd put in the cone sleeve offset, um, but for this exercise we'll just uh, not do that. some results. I suppose how correct that is is another story, but based on the, you know, the, the estimates of data I've put in. Um, Alright, so then the next step is to uh, use the transfer current point ID. So I just summarized this data into here. So now we can see that generally it's, um, well, it's fine-grained until right near the bottom, We've got a sand layer. Um, good. I, got this one. I won't turn this into a full demo of the CPT tool, but uh, you can see that these are the methods getting used here. These are the unit weights that have been assumed. Very, you can change that. Density of water, other options. So now we get our output. the log I'll do this one well let's just preview it we don't have to select it F6 to step to the next page. There we are. It's nice uniform stuff. Density's not jumping around very much. What's what consistency? Right, well that's um that's that. Now we need to just. Uh, yeah, oh, that's about. Look, I think this is a problem with this new version of Gint. I'll close that. I'll check that it's not still running. Open up the, uh, the trusty version eight.
put so what I'm going to do is we're going to set so I'm going to make a fence diagram now seeing we don't have multiple points in this database I'm just going to replicate this thing wrong button tools replicate point I'll call it to NB 38 and NB 39 all data. Make this 200 and 300 and this 400 and 500. Something like that. We'll go to output. Now oh, we need elevations. So we'll make it. Okay, now we can do a fence diagram. The replicate point completely copied the points. Uh, well, we'll just let it run. <coughs> now it's because we, you know, we made the point table save. We changed the actually because we changed the elevation, which affects some of the calculations. It causes just the whole calculations to happen just in case it needs to. Um, and this is the automatic calculation. We can turn off the calculations. Uh, on the uh, CPT configuration project parameters table there is an, a checkbox there to suppress automatic calculation and then what would happen is that these it wouldn't happen upon save but actually in this situation it would have popped up when we went to output because we need to calculate of course before we print the reports generally you know once you've entered the data and you know set the parameters you only have to calculate it once and then from there on the data is stored you can just print reports as needed without having to wait like that all right so we go to fences okay for this example we'll do the 11 by 17 because it's aimed at uh, someone in North America show the uh, underrange shear strength and the relative density perhaps the uh, Young's modulus maybe the uh, rigidity index Be useful if I could spell rigidity wouldn't it um, I hope we can put some legends down here going to print the Q uh, actually well, obviously we probably want to print the QC in the, uh, in the FS so we'll move them up a bit so we'll click OK and let it run Page, isn't it? But anyway, you can adjust that. You can um, put a buffer in. So it's some pretty weak stuff there until uh, it gets to the sand. It's, I don't know why I'm looking at them all. They're both. They're all three of them the same. Why look at them? So that's the um, that's the story. 
course you can design a new fence report without the map if that's what you want. Just copy it and make a small adjustment. That is the end of our video. Thank you. Bye.